Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Jay, who says, I have a 20-month-old Malinois who's been great so far. We're in a working dog club and do a lot together, so he's been great. Um, my girlfriend has a three-year-old Roddy, not very well trained beyond the basic sit and stay, and she claims he's aggressive while on leash. After walking the two dogs together, notice she is constantly correcting a dog, making the leash walking a bad experience for him. Likely he is why he is aggressive. Good, good possibility. My dog used to be aggressive with strange dogs, but doesn't exhibit that behavior any longer. Um, my question is, what would be the proper way to introduce the Mal with her Roddy? She dog sits some friend's dog and the Roddy's great with them. I don't think he's an inherently aggressive dog, just poorly trained man. I hope your girlfriend doesn't watch this video because you, you <laughs> she's going to get mad that you keep saying he's poorly trained, even though he probably is. Uh, we've gone on a couple walks together, keeping dogs apart so they get used to each other. I told her that the dog needs to learn the presence of my Mal is a good thing and happy experience. I think you're answering this question yourself. Um, also, that walks are a happy experience. I reckon we go on several walks together before they interact. I think you're right there, Jay. Um, am I correct in my approach? Yes. What would the second step be? First of all, I think you need good communication with your girlfriend so you don't get in a fight because it's an easy thing to get in a fight over. Um, but the dogs need to, yeah, take them on walks together. Put your dog, if your dog's well-trained, put them on a down. Correct the Rottweiler. Make sure the Rottweiler sees that you're, you know, you're in control, you're, 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 your girlfriend's in control, which she's probably not. But you need to, um, you really need to make sure, you, you, first of all, you and her got to be on really good terms. And she's got to appreciate the fact that you're in control of these dogs. So if you give her dog a correction or your dog a correction, she can't get upset. I was going to say flip out, but that's totally the wrong political term to say. But um, she needs to understand that you're doing this for the best of the dog. One of the dogs needs to be completely controlled, whichever dog that is, and the other dog gets walked around them. And if the dog starts to do anything stupid, the dog gets a correction. Um, and if you're in a working dog club, I, I don't know if you and your girlfriend are in a working dog club or you and your Malinois are, but if you and your Malinois are, then I would make sure that the dog gets um, you know, it's put on like what I do with Goofy. I'll put him on a down, and then I introduce him to Boz. And and when he did, any, if Goofy did anything s silly, then he got a correction for it. And if Boz did anything silly, he got a correction. And now they're best friends. They're just and Boz is our little 16-year-old dachshund. So yeah, I mean, definitely make sure you got a good communication with your girlfriend, so you don't have fights about this, because that's a horrible thing to fight about, and it can break up a relationship. But take your time, go slow, structure, 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 um, a lot of treats, a lot of hand feeding, a lot of walks, a lot of very short interactions. Keep those initial interactions really, really short because it's going to make it a lot easier for both dogs to see the picture a lot clearer that way. If you start, if you do with a, you go with a really long time um, and they start playing and the drives get escalated, you're going to have a problem and then it's going to be hard to undo. So like you're doing the short walks is great. Um, have them, you know, do some treats, do some basic sit, stay, little tiny, tiny, tiny things. Let the dog see, you know, if they do anything, good firm correction, lots of reward afterwards, get them right back together. If they have a bad experience, like they snarl each other, lunge at each other, don't separate them out. That's a key component because if you do that, if you separate them out right away and then come back the next day or two days later, the last thing the dog remembers is that they acted stupid and that's usually where they pick it up from. So only take them apart when it's gone well. So the best thing to do is keep it super short. When it goes well, put one of the cars in the crate and that's it, you know, uh, one of the cars in the crate, one of the dogs in the crate. And that's what I did when Janet and I got together with, um, with our dogs. I used to keep Goofy and Maya in a crate, bring them in one at a time. They got along with Jimmy and Boz and then everything, you know, and it took us a few months, but they're, they're fine now. Everybody's out. Everybody has a great time. So, but we have a really good communication. So strive for that. That's going to be your first bet. Got a question? Ask me anything.